Hi everyone, welcome to Play Hooky with me. My name is Roz and in this video I'm going to share how to do the join as you go for the sunburst granny square. We're going to be focusing on the first four squares. This was a request from some viewers from my original video on how to do the sunburst granny. Uh, I did show how to do a join as you go in that video, but this is going into more detail focusing on that very first square and the three after. Okay, so I think that's about it, so let's just dive right in. Okay, square one, you're just going to finish it completely. You're going to do all of the rounds. You don't have to worry about anything for square one. Just finish it and put it to the side. Just as a quick reminder, I am going to be going through the steps kind of quickly as far as the stitches because I'm assuming that you are already very familiar with the granny square clusters and the pattern itself. If not, please check out my tutorial on how to do the sunburst granny square. I'll add a link at the end of the video as well as the description box below. We're working on square two now, and this is where we're going to attach and join to the first square. The key to remember with this is that we are just joining in between the clusters, and we're going to be mirroring the other clusters from the previous square with the new one that we're making. Okay, so we're going to start with our first corner, and we're going to do everything as we normally would. We're going to start our first side. So we'll start in a corner. We'll do the first side, and then the second side, but we will not finish the second side because that's when we're going to start joining. So you should have something that looks like this. Here's the first corner that we worked on to begin, our first side with a corner, and now we're on the second side, but we haven't finished that corner. This is where we're going to start attaching. To attach, go ahead and start the first half of your corner on your disc. So that's three trebles. And now for the chain three, you're going to use one of those chains to attach to this corner here. So we're going to do chain one, slip stitch, chain one, and then continue on with our corner. Chain one, go into the corner, pull through, and slip stitch. Chain one, and finish your corner as you normally would. Okay. And this is what it should look like. Now we've done our corners, they're all good. Now we're going to join in between these clusters. Remember you're going to join before you start the next cluster. This is the join as you go portion. So between the two clusters, I go in, pull the yarn through, and slip stitch. We have a double crochet cluster here, so I'm going to mirror that and just work my double crochets as I normally would into my disc. Time to join again. So between the cluster, right before you do your next grouping, go in, pull through, slip stitch to secure. This is a half double crochet cluster. I'm going to mirror that here on this disc. Time to join as we go again between clusters. Slip stitch and we're back to three doubles. Okay, time to join again before we work on our next corner. Oop. And we are on another corner, so we are just simply going to work our treble crochet, just half of the corner before we attach. Chain one. Slip stitch into that corner. Chain one again, that will give you your three. And finish your corner. Go 
Great, so now we're just going to finish our side as we normally would, and we will get ready to work together on square three. We're getting ready for square three now, and you're going to do the same thing that you did for square two. You're going to work up two sides, but you're not going to finish the corner on side two, because you're going to be using that to join. So just like before, we're going to start in a corner, working our clusters. I'm just going to work this off camera and I will see you when we are nearly finished with side two. We've done one full side and nearly finished the second side. We just need to continue on with the corner, but you should have something that looks like this now. It's time to take square three and join it. And we're just going to go right here. We flipped it. And we're going to join right here in this right corner. So just like before, start the first half of your corner. Use that second chain to do your slip stitch. chain one and finish your corner. Okay, and we're back to the same method. We're going to now do a join here, a slip stitch between these clusters, mirror this cluster with a double crochet, join, half double, join, double and then we're going to get ready to join our next corner so i will meet you here we are coming to the center here now for the join and we're going to do the same thing as we've been doing we're going to start the first half of our corner so we're going to do our three treble crochets i like to do one join and i do it in the opposite square to where i'm working from working my first half of my corner so at this point, you can chain one and then join, join if you like, but I'm just going to chain one, go over to the square on the diagonal and join there. Chain one and finish my corner. So we're going to finish this side as we normally would. And what's going to happen with the fourth square is you're going to attach in that corner as well and on the opposite side. And so you get a really lovely crisscross effect when you're finished. So I'm going to finish this side and I'll see you here for square four. We're working on square four now and we're on our final disc and we are going to just do one corner and one side before we start joining again. So I'm going to fasten on. So this first corner that we're working on is going to be right here. So we're going to work our first side and then I'll meet you here for the corner. I've worked my first side We've done the first half of the corner that we're going to be attaching here on the edge. Let me just flip things around. I'm going to be attaching right here, moving over, working into the center and working our way down. Chain one, join, chain one, and finish that corner. Okay, we're coming to the corner again. I'm going to do my final join before that corner. There we go. And now again, we just do the same thing. We're going to start the first half of our corner. It's nothing complicated. It looks way more complicated than it is. Just do what you've been doing. Go ahead and start the first half of your corner. Okay. 
okay? And now I like to go into the opposite corner to join. Chain one. I'm going to join in the square on the diagonal here. Go under, pull the yarn through, slip stitch, chain one, and done. Now I finish my corner just like before. Okay. And now I'm just going to join into that third square, just like we've been doing. Right before that next cluster, just join in there. And we are at a double crochet, so I'm going to do my double crochet to mirror the double crochet in that other square. So I'll meet you here at this next corner. I'm at my next corner. I'm making sure to join before I start that corner. It's very easy when you start getting into a rhythm with this to forget to join. I do it all the time. So just double check before you've gone too far that you have been remembering to join. We're at another corner. So we're going to start the first half of our corner, three trebles. Side, and we're just going to do what we've been doing. Chain one, slip stitch into that corner to join, chain one, and finish that corner. Now I'm just going to finish this side as we normally do, and we are finished with our first four squares. One thing I like to do is you can take the, your little joints here and then just line them up a little bit better if they're not lining up the way you want it to. Just a quick tip, there are times that you will probably forget to join at some point. I know this happens to me all the time. I get lost in what I'm doing and I skip a couple of the joints. Don't sweat it. I wouldn't even worry about uh, pulling things apart and redoing. I would just take whatever color that you were using for that joining and just go in with a, a darning needle and just tie and weave to just sort of replicate that join. Not a big deal. 